In this video, we're looking at the transverse modes of the laser. If you remember, what we've talked about is the transverse modes of the laser are the laser beam shapes that you get when you look across the beam, although don't look across a laser beam, it's never very good. Here we're looking at a beam in reflection. We've seen that for a transverse mode, what we want is we want a beam which self-reproduces itself in the cavity. And there's a family of beams that do this, which are the TEM, or transverse electromagnetic modes. Remember, the transverse mode of the laser is different from the longitudinal mode of the laser. The longitudinal modes of the laser arrive from the standing wave laser cavity, and from the requirements for a standing wave, we get a range of closely spaced, allowed wavelengths or frequencies. Those are the longitudinal modes. Here we're talking about the transverse modes. We've seen a family of transverse beam shapes. So, for instance, the simplest and the one we probably want our laser to operate in is the TM00 mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly adjust the alignment of our laser cavity, which is currently running in a TM00 mode, and hopefully we should be able to see some other transverse modes appear. So as I adjust the position of the mirror, you should now see the laser stop working because the laser is no longer aligned. I'm going to bring the laser back into alignment now, carry on adjusting, Okay, and hopefully you see the shape of this spot change. The shape of this spot changing is the transverse mode of the laser changing. And now if I start really altering the alignment of the laser, we should be able to see a whole family of transverse modes appear. Okay, and now you can see quite clearly we have a range of transverse modes available from this simple laser cavity. Going right from complicated shapes and if we carry on the alignment, we should be able to align the laser to come back to understanding what we have when we have the TM00 mode. Okay, so again, simply by adjusting the laser, we can begin to walk through the different transverse modes that are available for the laser beam.